As we continue to develop potential therapies, the FDA has recently begun a national effort to expand access to convalescent plasma donated from the blood of those who have recovered from the virus. The blood of these donors contains antibodies that can potentially reduce the severity of the illness in those who are sick, and frankly, those that are very sick. Nearly 3,000 patients are now enrolled in the expanded access program, receiving transfusions nationwide. And I want to thank all of the people that recovered for what they've done. They, as I said yesterday, they raise their hand when they barely can walk, and they're saying, I want to donate blood, I want to donate whatever it is that you want, because we want to help people. It's really quite incredible. Convalescent plasma will also be used to manufacture a concentrated antibody treatment that does not have to be matched with a particular blood type. This concentrated antibody treatment could be used as a preventative measure to keep healthcare workers and other high-risk po populations from contracting the virus in the first place. Very big deal. Clinical trials of these products are slated to begin within weeks, and we can maybe have a fairly quick solution. I urge Americans to um, get in there and keep doing what you're doing, because, again, uh, we want those people recovering or recovered from coronavirus to contact their local blood and plasma donation center to learn how they can help. And they've been so great, and I just appreciate it.